If you're working on a file that has lots of text, don't bother scrolling back and forth like this. You can just hit Option Z on a Mac or Alt Z on Windows in order to enable word wrap. And boom, life is a lot simpler. If you need to join some lines together, it's really annoying to just have to keep hitting backspace. Luckily, there's a built-in join lines command in VS Code. Simply select the lines you want to join, run the join lines command, and boom, your lines are joined. Let's talk about the different options for auto-saving files. You can turn it off so you always have to manually save. You can auto-save after a slight delay, or you can auto-save when you should focus away from the editor. And in VS Code, you can configure it in any of these ways. But did you know that there are even more fine-tuned ways to configure autosave? For example, you can disable autosave when there are errors in the file. So we can see autosave is not triggering in this file with an error. You can also enable autosave only for specific languages. So here I have autosave enabled for TypeScript, but not for Markdown. And we can see that in action with these files. One of the most useful buttons in Visual Studio Code is kind of hidden and you might not even know about it, but it can literally stop you from rage quitting. Let me show you. When you have a project with a lot of files and folders, you'll be opening these in the sidebar. And as you open them, you get further and further down. And at some point, you have so many things open that it's really hard to tell where you are. And you'll begin to try to collapse these things to try to get back, but you don't have to do that. This little button right here just click it and it will collapse all of the folders back to the way they were before. You're welcome. This is the number one most underutilized keyboard shortcut in Visual Studio Code and you will use it all the time. Let's say that we are writing some code here. In this case, AI is gonna do this for me. And then after I write the line, I think, oh shoot, I don't want this and I start to delete it. Now, some of you may know that you can hold down Command or Control Shift and then on Windows it's Home and End or on Mac it's Left Arrow, Right Arrow to take you to the end or beginning of a line. But because I have Word Wrap turned on, I have to actually hit it twice and then I could hit the Delete key. Now, if you're a savvy VS Code user, you may know that you could hit at this point Command or Control Delete and that will delete the whole line, but that's actually not what it's doing. It's just deleting everything to the left of the cursor. So if the cursor's in the middle of the line, it doesn't exactly work. So the most underutilized keyboard shortcut in Visual Studio Code is Command, Shift, or Control, Shift, and K, which will delete the entire line no matter where you are.